Hi everyone, my name is Vuvu and this is Vuvu Vena Reads. If you are new here, please, please press the red subscribe button down below. And if you're not new, thank you once again for choosing me. On today's uh, video, we are doing the Black Booktuber tag. And I was tagged by Marina over at Young, Gifted and Black Love marina so if you're not following her yet i will link her channel down below do the right thing do follow her i don't want to waste any time don't want this to be a long video so i will just jump straight into it there are 10 prompts for this video and prompt number one or question number one is tell us a little bit about yourself i always think that i answer this question wrong so i don't even know how where to start but okay if you are new here you hardly know much about me so i'll just let you in on what everybody else already knows so i am vovo vena obviously <laughs> a single mom of two my son is five my daughter is three i have a blog called www.vovovenareads.com as well as a podcast called turning pages um it's you can find it in any major um podcast directory I am what else do you guys like this is such an open-ended question I could say so much and I really don't know what else you want to know um this is awkward it said a little bit I think that's enough I guess unless you guys have questions you can always feel free to ask questions down below I'm always open to doing any form of Q&A video that you might have but for purposes of this specific video i think that suffices i love reading obviously which is why i have this channel and yeah that should be fine that should be it unless obviously like i'm saying you guys have questions then feel free to ask in the comment section down below question number two who who is a black author you love that a lot of, okay who's a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about so if you've been following me for a while you'll realize that this year is the one year that i have vigilantly dedicated to discovering more black authors i read quite diversely i never had a focus on race um location etc in my reading but i have since tried to get a more um refined focus let's say refined focus on african literary african literature especially literature from south africa as well so i don't yet have a favorite author and i wouldn't want to place that label on anybody just yet maybe after three years of discovering the beauty that I'm, that i'm discovering currently then i might um put a name on my favorite author black author but right now i don't have any and most of the authors that i'm reading are probably already well known but i will mention there are a few authors that i've enjoyed on this journey um from south africa i've enjoyed nozizo cynthia jele i've enjoyed mohale mashiho and um sunyati lives in south africa but she is from zimbabwe and i'm enjoying her writing so far internationally my forever queens when it comes to black female authors um are uh, alice walker and tony morrison they go without introduction i absolutely adore them adore them and uh yeah so i'd say that those are my favorite authors they're not necessarily um unknown but they are authors that i have discovered and i have enjoyed what they've had to offer on this journey question number three favorite book about the black experience i picked this which is song of solomon um by tony morrison the reason why i love this book so much and why i picked it for this specific prompt is because it gives a glimpse into the black man's experience obviously it's based in america because um tony morrison is an american author however i do think that there are nuances in the story that are applicable anywhere where black men exist in a society that or have have to coexist with other races in in society what i like like i'm saying about this one is that it does focus mainly on the black man's experience and um for me it was an eye-opener as a woman in 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 society as a black woman in society to understand that 
there are other um, challenges that are specific to the black men and I think that the way that she has outlined those in this specific book really does hit home for me and it's something that has allowed me some compassion towards black males that I do encounter and yeah I enjoyed this a lot actually I might revisit again it again I haven't read it in like almost four years three years four years so it is one worth while the next prompt is A favorite book by a black author so for the same very same reason as I gave in prompt number two I don't have a favorite book as yet there are a lot of books that I've read that I've really enjoyed that are quite good but I haven't yet labeled any as a favorite book as yet it might happen it might not happen I've been mentioning that my best book so far this year is by Chinelo Okparanga and it's called under the Udala trees but that's not the book that I'm gonna name for this prompt for this prompt I just want to name the last book that I read that I truly enjoyed by a black author I had fun doing it I actually did a vlog I will link it up here somewhere um, that is Sunyati's The Polygamist I had the best of times reading this this is Sunyati's debut a novel called The Polygamist which um, follows four women's encounters with the same man and um it is based in zimbabwe harare zimbabwe and it just talks to a lot of stuff that is already true to our society currently which is basically infidelity um relationships of a polygamist nature in modern society their consequence they are the reason why they, they they occur and how women find themselves in this um, kind of relationships and how they act out in those relationships. However, she has told this in a such a scandalous manner that it is really a salivating read that you would not want to miss out on. She's got two novels out as far as I know. I do think that she might have a third one coming out but she's got this and she's got The Gold Diggers. So this was her debut. Her sophomore is The Gold Diggers. I haven't read that one yet. I plan to though. It is on my bookshelf. So this is the last fun um, book by a black author that I read and is the most memorable at this moment. Not to say it's my favorite, but it is definitely worth anybody's time actually. So the fifth prompt is recommend a black and queer book, which is where Under the Udala Trees comes in. So this is Under the Udala Trees by Nigerian author Chinelo Okbaranda. It talks about being queer in Nigeria in modern day. It brings in a lot about religion, a lot about same-sex love, as well as um, the family's part in understanding these kind of relationships and a uh, 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 in a setting where it could be seen as illegal if that makes sense at all I loved the exploration of this same-sex um, relationships on African on the African continent as well as specifically in Nigeria because of the law that was passed there that made homosexuality illegal. This was a very well done book by Chinelo Okparanda and that is a recommend a black and queer book. My favorite book of the year. I'd recommend it to anybody who cares to listen to me going on and on and on about it but this is a fave for me. So do pick it up if you can it and if you have it on your shelf and you haven't read it. Prompt number six, recommend a book with a black person on the cover. This is the book that I chose. I absolutely love this cover, guys. I'm not so mad about the book itself because I've had a lot of uh, other books that I've enjoyed from this author. But the cover stole my heart. Absolutely love it. And this is God Help the Child by Toni Morrison. Absolutely love it. Stunning cover. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Let me see how the... I don't remember how it looks without the dress jacket. Oh, it's just plain white. Oh, 
love it love it obviously uh, not obviously but this is one of the first stories that i ever read that explored the issue of colorism um and i don't think that it was so topical at the time that tony morrison published this it is one of the most recent books of hers it was published in 2015 so i don't think that it was a very topical um subject at the time but she did explore it quite well and i love the fact that this one centers around self-worth and an understanding of a person's value in society like loving yourself for who you are and how you were made and that allowing you to navigate life with a little bit of more power because you know who you are and in spite of how you look you still are worthy of the air that you breathe of taking space in society so i love love loved this one but like i'm saying it wasn't the the my most favorite book of hers maybe if i revisit it because i did read it around about the same time that it was published so it's a good five years ago so maybe if i revisit it it might have a different meaning to me now so that's a book with a black person on the cover and then um recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy guys i can never speak clearly about the impact of this book on my life i really don't know how to articulate it enough i remember reading this book i want to say it was in 2014 and it really blew me away that's when my love affair with alice walker started it was the best thing that i ever picked up in my life and every time i i tell myself i'm gonna go revisit this book and read it again i'm so anxious because of the impact that it's had on me i'm afraid that it might be lost if i pick it up again but anyway and this is a collection of essays by short um by alice walker called in search of our mother's gardens it is called a womanist prose so it is very 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 pro I don't want to say feminism because she defines what womanism is which is why i guess she's called this a womanist prose but it is also very autobiographical but there are such great lessons for black women to to pick up from this it is such a beautiful beautifully thought out collection i absolutely adore this this is like yeah of all my books i probably if they say to go save one book I'd probably rush for this one first i love all my books but this is definitely one of those books that really has found its spot in my heart absolutely love it so this book makes me happy it's a recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy and this is it and then uh it says recommend some black booktubers i will definitely link their channels down below so i have selected 10 booktubers that i wanted to recommend um pretty x bookish book wearing gh young gifted and black as if i need to recommend marina but i'm recommending her in case some of you are not following her so marina from young gifted and black tori morrow she does a lot of sci-fi fantasy etc it is a genre that i'm really interested in but i haven't dabbled in it at all so that's why i enjoy her channel because she has a lot of books that she really enjoys in that genre that she does share with us which is great it's always nice to follow people who don't read in the same genre as you i think because it helps you to broaden your scope in terms of what it is that you end up reading if you are that kind of reader obviously this is not prescriptive so don't yeah anyway so that is um tori morrow alexa reads from kenya <laughs> alexa reads from kenya bogomoso book club south africa bookish nonsense south africa pelisi with twin i don't know how to pronounce her surname she's from south africa offensive moduga from south africa and pabalo sepi sepi from south africa those are the 10 that i am recommending for you guys do follow them i will link their channels down below so do the right thing go there and like peruse and i'm sure you'll decide to follow after you've done that because they are worth your follow and then the next question is 
talk about a book by a black author that's coming in 2020 so if you're saying it's coming in 2020 i've all i've selected books that have already been published but published in this year so i think that those are relevant for this question sorry so um I recently attended the virtual SA book fair and one of the people in one of the panels that I listened to was Abby Dare and she was talking about her debut novel that was published this year called The Girl with the Louding Voice. I picked it up at the virtual store and there straight after I listened to that session because my goodness if if the little that she read from this book is anything to go by then this is definitely a book that is worth picking up i try going into books without knowing too much about them but the one thing that i do know about this one she is also from nigeria and the one thing that i do know about this one is that it looks into the dynamics of um how do i call it employer and the helper dynamics in nigeria and obviously the oppression that goes on there that's as far as i know i do know that it uses some form of pigeon in it as well which is quite interesting i love people who can play around with language in books because i feel like it always drives the story home even more but um that's all i know about it and that's the only book that's published in 2020 that i have to recommend by a black author as in i have physically but there are books that i have been looking out for so i'm clearly the last person to jump on the uh jassy um wagon which who is the author of homecoming i have ordered the book it is coming uh, it hasn't arrived yet and this year she she has transcendent kingdom out that everybody's raving about but i'm trying not to know too much about either book because as soon as it lands on my table i am opening it and reading it and we can have that conversation later but i am obviously looking to get transcendent kingdom after reading homecoming so transcendent kingdom is published in 2020 and then the other book that's been in my radar for a very long time i really can't wait to get my hands on it but for some reason when i'm looking online it's going for such a ridiculous price that i'm struggling to understand in some online store it was going for 500 plus i'm really not understanding and probably i'm shopping at the wrong place but the book i'm talking about is the vanishing half by Brittany. Hmm? Is it Brittany? Brit Bennett. And um, the little that I know about that book is that it is about, um, it, it covers the scope of colorism in a very interesting manner. Let me put it that way. And it is an American based um, book. So, sorry. So, yeah. Those are the books that I had my eye on for 2020 and I've only got one of them. So like I'm saying, I'm getting Homecoming, which is not a 2020 uh, book, but it is by Yaa Jassy. And uh, hopefully then I'll get Transcendent Kingdom after that. Then it's the last prompt is to tag some black booktubers. So I'm going to tag some South African booktubers. I tag Offensive, Moduga, Pretty X Bookish, uh bookish nonly and the bookamuso book club thank you so very much for tuning in guys and as always i really do appreciate the fact that you choose me you click on my videos and you watch it does not go unnoticed i really do appreciate that and if you are not yet subscribed please press the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and until next time bye now